Hey, hello friend, and welcome back once again to Strategic Mind, Spectre of Communism. Let's uh, continue where we left off, and uh, I am in the middle of this uh, night turn here. Let's take that. I'm so. Oh, there's mines there. That's why you, you cannot get in there. All right. Um. Probably no chance I can take this down. But it was still a decent attack. Let's just work it from the top here. So, I need to take down whatever guys are there, but that's not going to work on this turn yet, anyway. Uh, so, I might just as well try to deal with this uh, more powerful unit for the moment. Let's, let's actually pull it back. So, ideally, they can deal with it, but I'm happy about that double attack now. Well, they can't move. Removing these at this point is probably not a good idea either. So. Oh. Well. That sucks. Now, I... would be pleased if... Let's move you forward. One, two, three, four, five. These guys are a bit exposed. Eh? Let's clear the mines though. Let's see. Okay. Still got ten. Now. With that done. The situation down there is a little bit more problematic, not overly so, but... Easier uh, it is not. They shouldn't move through there. Hmm. I'll keep attacking these. I'll not likely destroy it. I guess on a night turn like this, having a river defense is probably okay. Um, wow, well, they just straight up also cannot kill it. That's actually pretty rough. 
it's not super powerful or anything, but a uh, bit sad, I'd say. Ah, I can get at least a zero from that side. Now, it has only one strength at this stage. you up there you slightly forward you slightly back Just put them in there. So now That would have been fairly useless. <laughs> Let's park you up. No. Let's just go here. There was non lethal, and they can land there, down there soon. So it's okay. You haven't battled yet. Those are both air units that I don't actually want to try and deal with. There's, there's nothing to be gained from it from this side. For some of these bombers, I'll use them again on the next turn where the weather is good. Well, it, um, well, everything is good, really. Let's take a look. I might not actually be able to get all of them, yeah, but that's okay for now.
wonder what they're attacking. This? No. Impossible to see now, or still. I had actually hoped they would go into the swamp, but I still didn't. Let's see what's up. Oh wow, they did two lethal damage. It's pretty harsh. Comrade Zhukov, the partisans from the Polish Army of Krajowa have sent me a message. They say they found the location of several German synthetic fuel depots near the front line. Can we trust this information? I don't have to tell you, Comrade Rukasovsky, that this Army of Krajowa is more than willing to fight both the Red Army and the Wehrmacht. I can't tell you how the situation will develop, but right now we have a common enemy, the Germans. We should take advantage of the situation and destroy those fuel depots. Hmm. It certainly is an interesting idea. Right, Comrade Rukasovsky, you know the Poles better than I do. Go ahead, take out those fuel depots. Well, we'll see about uh, the fuel depots. Uh, let's kill these first. I'll attack them four times in order to lower their perimeters. And then kill that thing. Go in there, attack, kill the infantry. They can still attack another time, sweet. a bunker huh funny that this is actually a Polish fort um, however for some reason um, I must be getting it from that fort could be probably
Okay, so with this almost dead, they might have AA there, but let's kill them. And do a lot of assaults on the jet plane so I will need at least two attacks here which I will do one with those here so I can bomb them which is highly needed or I'll probably never take them down Ultimately, that didn't work too well, but no worrying. That will get rid of their overwatch. What are they getting attacked by? By this thing? go that is one uh, yeah I need to clear clear that so to do that and after that
These to kill them. That puts us to 43. So in terms of losses, it's actually going pretty quickly so far. Uh, despite the fact that the enemy hasn't lost all that much ground. Okay, that should also weaken them enough. Uh, the important thing is now that the center can break through towards uh, the city and then Minsk. Because... Currently, what's your range? Three and three. Stacks, not great. That seriously could have been a whole lot better. But let's attack then. Right, so that'll trigger the overrun. Don't need to worry about that. They don't have flamethrowers, so attacking this is not useful. Uh, Well, first of all, let's let's go in here. So, one, two, three. We're gonna overrun on that. And then... My hope is to... Eliminate it this way. You have plenty to, uh, of ammo to attack on the back swing. So I shouldn't count on it. We'll attack these guys first. That's four damage. It's 
so let's take care of it. And the mines. Let's just take this outflanking Minsk from the side here. They might still have some concentrations of forces here and there. I mean, I'm not even halfway in terms of destroying everything, so. Surprise me, it would not if they did. I have to understand that I still have them too. Basically, I'm, I'm just going, going for the fighters here all the way. But the enemy doesn't really have a whole lot anymore in, in that regard either. It's this bomber that I still have. Well, I don't need to use it. I can just leave it for a little while. Wouldn't surprise me if they had substantial forces in there. Somehow... I mean, they could do it. But to be honest... For the moment, given this turn... For now, I'd, I'd just rather hold for a bit. They wouldn't be able to see that anyway, uh, but this is the time to move forward. As well, anyway. Then are we finally can.
I guess that Nashorn is one of the immediate problems. But clearing out these infantry will help me. Hmm. Let's actually attack there. I like that attack a bit more. Then... Kill this tank. Cannot move in there because of the Nash horn. But they can be attacked from there. Right in its place where it belongs. Why are you taking that damage? Is it because they counter? Not sure, but I will kill it. Sweet. Okay, so those guys are killed. Let's perform the double attack on you. Clear those mines. If I move in here and kill it. Let's just take those for the moment. I can move a lot further now, technically, to all the way up until here. I don't think it's that bad.
Especially since I might use these guys to go down and attack this. That too. I would not consider to be a bad move. Could kill the artillery here. Two, three, four, but then they would not get any supplies. Whereas if you go down, they can at least kill the tank. How worthwhile that is eventually is of course I think pretty interesting. What I need to do actually attack here first because with that thing gone you can just land go out again attack it I guess I can only attack once Luckily, I still have this air cobra. Finish off the remaining fighter that we see here. Good. 54, huh? Let's just send him in here. Let me see. Seems like those uh, fuel depots are also scattered all around the area. Uh, it's not too bad, but... The chance that this is an infantry is like 99%. Still. I must... Do what I must. Shame they cannot go back. I cannot kill them here to link up the supply for now. Uh, 
least it seems exceptionally unlikely. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they can still move back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what? That's the end of it? Hmm. At least they're behind a river, but... I do dare say that such was not... Entirely my opinion. These I'll move back so I can cover the flank uh, four up north. The reason why I want that so badly is Okay, so let's move up here. Tag there. You can stay there. Ooh, level up. Let's go for all weather. There's no real need for any bombing practices at this particular turn. maybe there is because now I can kill that which is obviously not super great but it is something I'll start clearing this with the recon, which is also not super amazing. I'm just uh, trying to also, you know, take my objectives down there. Moving up at this stage. Let's move you over there.
All right. Next turn is going to be another day turn. Let's see. Whether they will launch a serious attack. They actually have plenty of stuff here. Once again. Guess we triggered another counter offensive of some sort. By getting close to Kiev, uh, not Kiev, getting close to Minsk. I don't know what that was, but I don't know if there was mine. I don't think it was. The army of Krajova has launched an uprising in Vilnius, Comrade Trukov. There is fighting in the streets. This is an excellent moment to hit the Germans. They're distracted. Sure, let's help these partisans force the Germans out of the city, especially since they have already distracted part of the German garrison. I, I don't want to say that it, this is particularly close. Um, but I'll do my best to work my way towards that, I suppose. All right, we're quite high in damage to the enemy already, so it might work out, maybe. At least uh, they didn't attack this turn out, they just stay put, that is. That's actually the best for me. I just don't think I had a unit there. It seems exceptionally unlikely. Um, what does not seem unlikely though uh, is whether I will wrap up wrap up this video, which I. Uh, most certainly will. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Or help me out on Patreon for more videos each week. Um, take care, everyone. See you next time, and bye-bye.